Yes, uh, my name is Stephen Gillespie, and I grew up in New Mexico and Detroit. And I am a State Farm agent, and I own Stephen Gillespie State Farm Agency in Santa Fe, New Mexico. No day is ever the same, um, as in most jobs, but we deal with everything from claims to quoting people, helping people out with um, figuring out their homeowner's insurance. It, it's a wide variety of a job, and so no day is ever the same. Um, the, the thing I love about what I do is I get to help people. Um, I'm an integral part of my community where I went to high school. I moved back and um, I get to ha design my own lifestyle. What I mean by that is I can, one day I decide I can go leave. I, I wanna go somewhere and I can go, but only because I put in the work to have people who are working for me, who I trust, or running my agency while I'm out of the office. And I really wanted, I wanted more for myself than just going and getting a regular nine to five job, if that makes sense. I do a lot of community service work. I work with Kitchen Angels in Santa Fe. I sponsor the Santa Fe basketball team. Um, I do a lot of work that, you know what, it it's fulfilling because I'm giving back to people, to my community, or where I grew up. And so I really do like working for State Farm, but like most of the kids that are in high school, college, I don't, unless you want to be a lawyer or a doctor or a, I don't know, an accountant, most kids don't know what they want to be. And I think the thing you have to remember is you have, if you get, get some foundational pieces in place. Like most most kids growing up, I didn't want I didn't know what I really I knew what I wanted to do, but it was very unrealistic in the big picture. Um, my dad was a, a police officer, a police chief, ran the law enforcement academy in Santa Fe, and so I thought I wanted to be a police officer. But in the back of my mind, I wanted to be a pro base professional baseball player. So that never panned out like most kids. Um, and even in college, I went to University of New Mexico. I wanted to be an architect. I That didn't work out because I wasn't very good at art. Um, and so I didn't really know what I wanted to be. And you know, you go through college and all of a sudden you have all these credits in one area. And I went to my counselor and they said, well, looks like my dad wanted me to graduate. So I had a psychology degree. I had a psychology, a lot of psychology, sociology, and a little bit of criminology because my dad's, my, my dad's influence. So um, I graduated with a psychology degree and a minor in sociology. And so my wife and I, at my time, my girlfriend, we decided to move back to New Mexico. And she was from Southern Colorado, I'm from Santa Fe. I'm from Las Vegas, born in Las Vegas, moved and graduated from Santa Fe High. Um, so I started my own business, satellite business. Um, built that up, sold it. I parlayed that into a Verizon retailership built that up, sold it. And when I was going looking for my next business I wanted to do, one of my my State Farm agent who was um, in Santa Fe, and I had another friend in Texas who talked to me about doing this, an agent was retiring. And I never really knew that I wanted to do it until I started. And what State Farm did is it allowed me to start building a career where I could do this for the next 30 years. Man, being in high school is tough. I mean, you know, I I wouldn't say I was, I wouldn't say I was unpopular or popular in high school. I would say I would fell right in middle of the pack. Like, I could hang out with anybody. But being in high school is rough. And I think the one thing, I, I funny you asked this, I thought about it this morning. I think the one thing you have to do in high school or as a person the rest of your whole life, you have to believe in yourself. Because honestly, no one is ever going to believe in you as much as you believe in yourself. And you have to have that burning desire to be successful. Um, and what success is to you is fine. I mean, it, everyone is different. Is it, I want to have a job and I want to work that job for 30 years and I want to have a nice family? and bring up kids, or I want to own my own business, or I want to work with athletes, or I want to work with 
homeless people. It's what you decide is success to you. I think most of the things I draw on from, you know, there's school and I had some really influential teachers, but I would say my parents were more influential in my life. They taught me a lot. Um, you know, my dad taught me work ethic, which I think is very crucial. I don't, I don't think you hear people talk all the time about you got to work hard, you got to work hard. But I don't think that people understand what that means. And that means showing up every day, you know. Um, part of any job is showing up. And sometimes you don't want to show up. And you have to show up. And it's, I think the days are hard. The days that are most difficult for you to show up are the days that you're going to get the most out of. And I think that's one thing I was instilled in of, you know what, you better, you have to be sick. And sick means you're sitting on your deathbed. You need to go to school. You need to go to work because people are counting on you.